what to do in a situation when you love a guy, but he says that his priority number one is business today and he can't focus on a girlfriend at the moment. Should I wait or move on even though I can't imagine loving anybody else? Dr. Love is in the house. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. But I, but I get this a lot. Like this is something that women hear a lot. Am, am I right that like the guy is only focused on business and of course that doesn't feel good as a woman to hear like, you know. Yeah, I don't, I mean, frankly, I don't think he's interested in you. You know, I, I would tell people, look, you know, the whole love thing is way overrated. I know nobody wants to hear this. It's a movie thing, guys. This is movies and fairy tales and bullshit. You know, at the end of the day, you, you, you know, these are all distractions for people not to have to deal with the real problems. And the real problems are every day you're faced with money issues. And mon money is not the only thing. I don't think it's the only thing. I know this. Even when Elena and I are fighting, man, the money makes things just a little better. It's like, okay, we're going to fight in Malibu. Let's roll. Okay. Uh, you know, it's like, it's like there's so much drama on this planet. I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people. I don't know anybody has a perfect marriage or the perfect relationship or mm -hmm. where the love doesn't change and what, what that romance was the first, the first weeks is typically not there. I mean, every once in a while you'll see somebody that, oh, I love him as much as I met him that the day I met him. I'm like, yeah, well, why haven't you guys had sex in three months if you love him? Because back when you met him, you were hammering each other three times a day. Now it's three months because so, things change. And, um, and that's the reality of it. But the things that won't change are, hey, we need a mission that we're excited about. That's right. Because even if you're loaded with money, and you don't have a mission, then you're upset too. I was telling Elena yesterday, I'm like, okay, what am I going to do next? I just did this huge thing, like huge. So the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. I'm like, I need to figure out what I'm going to do next because if I don't know what I'm going to do next, I'm going to be a problem. A problem, by the way, that she cannot feel up in me. You know, I, I never ask Elena to make me happy. I never expect her to make me happy. I don't think my kids can make me happy. I think my mission and my goals make me happy. And those missions and goals for them to be, for me to continue them, they need to pay. They need to pay somebody. They need to position somebody where, where there's a victory somewhere. Either, you know, we're helping someone, a lot of other people, or we're helping ourselves or some combination. So um, I know I've never expected Elena to, to, uh, to make me happy or to fulfill me. And I, and, I, and I told her when I met her, I said, look, I'll do anything for you. But one thing, there's one thing I cannot do, will not do. I've been asked to do it by other women. I will not give up on my goals and my dreams. Because if I don't have that, like if I give up, that was here before she was. And, and, I, and I believe you guys could probably. Same for me, by the way. Yeah, of course. I, I was going to ask them. I'm like, I promise you, before you found that guy that you were in love with, you had a goal or a mission that you were also in love with. And it, that, that is unique to you and something that would make you extremely happy and fulfill you in many, many ways uh, that, that would be uh, even more impactful than an orgasm. And um, sometimes I think we give up on that and try to replace it with a guy or a gal. And, 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 you know, the, the thing that I asked Elena or told Elena is like, I'll do anything for you, but I will not, I can, if you ever ask me to give up on my goals and dreams, I can't do it. I won't do it. I've been asked to do it. So I would just tell you with that dude, you know, good for him that he wants to go out and just focus on getting rich right now. At least he's clear on that. Uh, maybe it's not his time. Maybe you should go focus on the same thing.